All right, this is going to be an example um, of a typical workflow you might uh, use Quilia for um, concerning the surface flow component that allows you to simulate things like rain flow over surface. So this is a, a project I did in my undergraduate years in architecture. Uh, this is a, a boathouse. Um, it sits right on a river. So this is a river here that has a long ramp um, that leads up to this boathouse um, and, and a large part of the um, design of this boathouse was this uh, roof undulating roof structure um, that one of its main purposes was to um, you know uh, take all that rainwater that lands on it and direct it down um, this channel um, straight into the water so that you don't get uh, muddy areas this would be a, a running path here so we don't we want we don't want the water to be running off and, and causing any any mud over here um, and so when I did it, I didn't really have Quilia, and uh, so any design choices I made were kind of based on you know, my aesthetic desires combined with kind of functional needs of getting that rainwater off. Um, but now that I have Quilia, I can actually uh, simulate how that rainwater might flow over that surface. So let's take a look at how that might work. And we can just look at our grasshopper geometry. And so here we have, um, you know, a setup of some uh, kind of emission points for those rain particles as they land on that surface. Um, and then as I simulate it, um, I have these red X's symbolizing uh, where the particles fall off of the surface. So you can see most of them do end up down here as desired, but we also have a, a kind of a problem area over here. Um, as well as an area that's uh, where they're really getting pooled up here. So you would have like stagnant water after it rains um, up here. And this was a, like a fiber, you know, a, a transparent fiberglass roof. So you would be able to see that nasty water. Um, but what's great about working through the grasshopper environment is that you have access to control the parameters of that surface at this point. So if I uh, say, take some of these points guys here and just move them up we can see that the whole grasshopper definition updates and we get a live feedback of how that water might flow down so now we can see we have you know probably a problem area here we might raise this part up it looks like they're still trying to get trapped in that area and when you're doing this for real you probably take your time um, to really make sure uh, that, that you're kind of fitting all the other needs of, of this roof structure, but here I'm just worrying about getting all these particles off. These guys don't want to leave. But as you can see, you know, you're able to you know, kind of update your model parametrically and have your simulation also update parametrically, which is, I think, a big benefit of working with Quilia and Grasshopper. So let's just um, turn these points off and, and rerun the simulation. Let's see if we get any better results here. It looks like now I've kind of moved that pooling area over here. Uh, but we have less of a problem here, and we kind of do have uh, more of the particles ending up down here. Uh, so that's it. Um, that was just kind of a quick um, walkthrough of how you might um, Kind of use that within a design project. Um, so hope hopefully that was useful, uh, and I'll see you next time.